What's going on, guys? We're back with MLB 23, Game 2 against the White Sox. Live from Guaranteed Rate Field on the south side of Chicago. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates going up against the Chicago White Sox. Joined by my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. And we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two. And regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Oh, yeah. The Just about set to go now. Off, and on the mound in it. this one, so. Michael Kopech. And My bad. He, it's unique these days. Oh, yeah, game two. more of a pitch-to-contact <laughs> type of guy. Yeah, Boogie doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up. That's down. One hops off the wall. Safely into second. He's got a double. First two nah, swinging, went nice. up there with the plan to be aggressive. Nice line drive to the full side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. Two for nine so far in the series. Left field, way back That's there. out of here. That's gone, baby. And that ball is gone. Way to go. Cannonball coming. Andrew touch. McCutcheon blasts one out. His ninth homer Fair of enough. the year. The Pirates score first. It's 2 nothing. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you could say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Brian Reynolds here. And there's yes. a rocket into the outfield. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Oh, yeah. Such a good feeling. Ooh. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's O'Neill Cruz. Swings here and blasts one nah. left field. And out of here! What? Clear the deck, With one swing, he quiets the crowd. It's his eighth home run of the year. It's 4 nothing. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball, and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. To the batter now, Jack Sawinski. That's in for a strike. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. That one ripped left field. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. The relay to second, and he's right out he's trying for two. What? And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. There's a strike. Well, at this pace, he's not going to be in this game for very long. But he's got to find a way to shake it off, keep it isolated to one inning, come back out. You could throw up a bunch of zeros and save that bullpen. That one hooked foul. Still only one out here in the inning. Fights that one away, and the count remains 
And a swing uh. and a miss. Two gone now. They had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back Connor long enough on that one. Joe. Next to hit, Connor Joe. Now a high fly ball out to left center. And that one hops the wall. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. He was all over that one. Love how he just kept it. I wonder. Simple there. Didn't come out of his mechanics. Nice tight swing. Hard hit ball. Digging in. Rodolfo Castro. First pitch and that's in for a strike. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. That's a laser base hit. Sheets fires it to the plate. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs. Back here at the ballpark, and towing the slab, Kyle Nicholas. Chris, you don't have to dig too deep into the numbers to see how good he's been. Oh, he's been nearly untouchable. Kind of a silent assassin out there. Just goes to work, and guys look up. It's deep into the that ball game, and they haven't been no able to scratch either. anything off and of this good. guy. So look for him to do the and same good. thing today. Maybe go the distance. Maybe hand it over to the That's bullpen fun. at the end and try to get that W. Andrew Benintendi stands in here, takes ball one low. Slow ground ball to the right side. Cooper Ow. takes it to the bag, and the home first moving along quickly today. Two gone. Aloy Jimenez now. Fifth in home runs in the American League. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And that's through there for a strike. Good pitch down around the knees. You want to be there all game. In a park like this, a pop-up sometimes will carry out. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The line of the pitch. Now a pop up on the infield. Hayes under it. And puts the squeeze nice. on that. And that'll do it. Down in order go the White Sox. They're on the short end of a 4 0 score. Back here on the south side at the play, Andy the Rodriguez. Andy Rodriguez. Kopek back to work. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Yeah. That's back there. Gone. A soaring shot to center. His second of the year. It's five zip. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Damn it. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Now batting key. I'm going to change my controller battery real quick. Hold on, guys. Let off this game with a double. Swings and misses. Oh, one strike. strike one. That's ripped to right down the line. And there's a hit. Nice. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Man at first. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. And there's the strike. <laughs> And the 
pitch. Rudder takes off. Swing and a miss. Yeah. Throw to second. Great jump. And that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. Clearly not content with the lead they're working with right now. And I like that. I don't think you can get comfortable with a five-run lead in today's game. And now they've got a good chance of adding on. Rudder on the go again. Swing and a miss. Throw to third. He's safe. Now the White Sox manager is out of the dugout and will make a move to the pen. Mike. Righty reliever out of the pen, Jimmy Lambert. On for his 20th appearance of the year. Brian Reynolds will hit next. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. Activity in the pen for the White Sox. Robbie Erlin up and loosening in the pen. And a foul ball. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. The 0 2. Squirts away a little bit, and the runner stays where he is. One away with a runner at third. Off the mark there. Two balls, two strikes. The idea was right, looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. There's a swing and a drive. Nice. Off the batter's eye and gone. Baby, that is out of here. All muscle to center field is 17th of the year. And they add a couple more. It's 7-0. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient. And it paid off. Now it's going to be O'Neill Cruz. He's already homered in this one. He swings and misses oh, at the first pitch. 0 oh, and 1. Ball one there. Rusty Valentine calling balls and strikes. Book, something I hear from hitters about Valentine is they know they don't have to protect off the plate too much in two strike counts, and that can be a big deal in terms of your confidence and seeing some pitches in that at bat. One down, base is empty. That one pushed to the left and foul. What about some no nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah, even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, oh. You call the umpire blue. You better learn his name. And uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. The left fielder. Two outs, yeah. base is empty. Now Sawinski. the left fielder, Jack Sawinski. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit <laughs> that's great whips it to first third out but the long ball was working in this inning not once but twice it's now seven nothing it's major league baseball and it's on the show ready to go for the last Winning half of the up. inning and the now it's luis robert the center fielder the pitch. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up, hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0 2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Cut on and miss. Struck him is. out. That's one out in the bottom of the second. Well, one of the things that hitters will do is they'll look for that red dot on the baseball as it's coming in to let them know what the pitch is. And if they see the red dot, it's typically a slider. But when a guy's got a really tight one with high spin rates, very difficult to determine. And that's probably why we saw a swing and miss right there. Just a nasty pitch. Gavin Sheets steps to the plate for the White Sox. Good power, not great in the OBP department. Right. 
And that's in there for strike one. Hey. That one catches the corner for a strike. Oh, Looks dude. like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Going to nope. count one and two. I don't know how you take that one after the called strike on the corner. Just a little bit off the edge. Keeps the at bat going with a yep. foul ball. One and two now. Swings and misses. Back to back strikeouts. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside pitch that right there, and that's not the kind of approach that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair. You're just going to make it a long strike at best. You have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it, and that way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets hit hard somewhere, and it's not foul. Kicks and fires. And it is two and one. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. No, Next one just misses. Full count okay. now. Swing and a miss for nice. the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Shy Sox held in check Very here. Nice. Not going their way. It's seven nothing. Out of the third inning Maybe at the plate for Pittsburgh, Garrett for Cooper. Garrett. It feels like we might be headed towards a rain delay if the weather doesn't ease up, Chris. Yeah, the umpiring crew are going to pay attention to how the weather is impacting this game. And the moment it becomes dangerous, I think, is the moment we'll be forced to take a break. The pitch. Up the middle, Mateo. Sends it to yeah. first and one away in the top of the third. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Connor Joe doubled in his first A.B. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Fouled off. He was late. Right handed reliever just off the outside edge. Oh, and the zone doesn't get the call. Three balls and a strike. The pitch. Struck him out looking. Mm. Mm. The batter, number Rodolfo one. Castro, the next pirate to hit, Rodolfo. single to right in his first trip. We haven't seen a break in the weather, oh, and the man. umpires might be forced to make a decision soon. Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, everyone looking and wondering when they're going to stop play. It definitely feels close. Here's a high chopper. Over to first. That ends the frame. <laughs> Nothing doing here for Pittsburgh. Set for the bottom the of the third. Guy. Now the here guy. is Jake Berger. Nicholas back to work. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Joe flashes the Good leather on the run and catch. Here's the catcher, Sebi Zavala, catcher. one of the stars in the win yesterday, as he had three hits. In there for strike one. There's the swing and a miss. Riding to the plate. Misses. 
And that's ball one. Excellent arm action on that two strike changeup. Just missed. And he wanted that oh. call. Next offering misses. And the count is even two and two. The pitch. That one 95 wow. to finish him off. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. And now it's Jonathan Scope. On the outside corner, strike one. Scope, a former All Star, a member of the 1000 Hit Club. He's been on a terrific run at the plate, hitting over 350 in his last 10. The pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Joe getting an angle on it. And that is that. Good hustle. One, two, three, go the White Sox. They continue to trail 7 nothing. Welcome back. Start of the fourth. And now the switch hitting catcher, Andy Rodriguez. Rodriguez. And the right hander back to work. Slice the other way. That's a base yeah. hit. Around first, heading for two. Rose to second. Tag got him. And he can't scramble back in time. Way too much of a turnaround first there. Now the third baseman, Key Brian Hayes. In the air, right field. That one gets down for a hit. Clearly now seeing the ball very well in this one. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls. Runner on the goal. Swing and a miss. Safe at second, and he easily steals the bag. Well, I'm sure that steal will raise a couple of eyebrows because of this big lead, but I think it's more respect for their opponent, knowing that they've got to continue to add on if they're going to win this game. Don't take it as an offense. Take it as a sign of respect. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Righty delivers. This to third. In time to ball. Yeah. And they got him. The center fielder, number 10, Brian Reynolds. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Brian Reynolds. He's already homered here in this one. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Shit. Gathers and throws to first. Yep. And that'll do it. Back at guaranteed rate field. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Jorge Mateo. That catches the outside corner. Strike one. And that's in there at the knees. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Now there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Now it's Andrew Benintendi to hit. And first offering is fouled off. When you look at Benintendi, think about this. He played in the same conference as both Alex Bregman and Dansby Swanson. Those two guys picked ahead of him in the first round. But it was Benintendi who was the SEC Player of the Year the year they all got drafted. Yeah, the organization clearly saw something special in this kid yes. as a prospect. And it's paid off nicely. Ground ball to the right side. Cooper steps on the bag. Already two now gone here in the home four. Designated hitter. Aloy. Here's Aloy Jimenez. Yeah. 0 for 1 so far. Hey. That catches the top part of the zone. Oh, oh. And that strike. is strike one. Now when you think about players in the past or even in today's game, Who's a comparison? He reminds me a little bit of Harold Baines. Both of them lefties, both outfielders, and he's shown similar types of production at the plate. A 
The White Sox still looking for their first hit in this one. Jimenez checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. And yes, he offered at it. Here on the south side, now here is O'Neill Cruz. The right-hander back to work. And there's a foul ball. Left-hand batter waits. And that one wrapped foul. In the dirt. Ooh. Zavala over to first in time. One up, one down. Jack Sawinski, the next pirate to hit. One for two. Slap the other way, foul. And the righty deals. That one drilled left field. Nice. And Ben Intendi oh, able to make the grab. Out number two. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Cooper in the box with two gone. And oh, takes a look at a called strike. Bounced up the middle. Mateo sends it to first. And that is that. And one, two, three, go the Pirates. And they hold a 7-0 lead. And welcome back. Here's the Leading center fielder, the Luis off. Robert. The center fielder. And the pitch. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. And that one clips the corner. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Goes down looking. Wow. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page now right now. Right fielder, Gavin Sheets. Gavin Sheets steps to the plate for the White Sox. That's oh. inside. And that's ball one. And a curve drops in for a strike. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. And he hits a ground ball right side. And foul ball. The White Sox hitless so far in the game. Crushed to right, and that one's going to leave the park. Here, home run. Mm -hmm. Gavin Sheets goes deep, and they inch closer. It's seven-one. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the bat's been carried it out of here. Andrew Vaughn now. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. in there on one and the right hater deals quickly into an 0 2 count both pitches were down in the zone I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area yeah. slings it across two gone the batter the third baseman Jake Berger. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the third baseman, Jake Berger. Flied out his first time. 
Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Spin rate's outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. Next pitch inside. And a count one and two. Curveball kind of backed up on him there. I think it just slid out of the hand a little bit too soon. Set down on strike. There it is. Strike three called and a slider at the knees. But the White Sox get one on a homer. And the lead is stretched to 7 1. All set for the top of the six. Now it's the right fielder, Connor Joe. Connor. Joe. Joe measures six feet even, 31 years old. He's knocked in nine over his last 10 games. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Right hander kicks deals. Oh, in the dirt, Zavala down to first, got him. One away on the strikeout. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels the for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive, and that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table, and you can't make contact. In time, Devon, and yeah, there's two away. Good play. Now batting, catcher. Andy. Two outs, base is empty. Up next for the Pirates, Andy Rodriguez. He's already homered in this game. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a miss. That Ooh. one in the dirt. This that guy's pounding great. the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. The 0-2. Worm burner into nice. the outfield for a knock. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Now the third baseman, Key Brian Hayes. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Slapped foul. Rodriguez off of first with two away. Comes up empty on the swing. Oh, with two now. And that's too high. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Kicks and deals. Swings and Shit. misses. Slider got him for a strike three. Back here on the south side. Now well, we go bottom six. And here's the catcher, the catcher. Sebi Zavala. There's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And he deals. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands, and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. Got it by him. Nice. Okay. Up next to Chicago. Here's the second baseman, the second Jonathan baseman. Scope. He's Jonathan. 0 for 1. Go. <laughs> Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. They say it went. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
The wind and the pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Hauls it in, and there's two away. Nice grab. Now batting. The shortstop. So the batting Jorge. order turns over. Jorge Mateo now. That one at 95 missed up top, and it's one to know. Just a slow ground ball this time. The flip to the pitcher covering. Nice. That's the third nice. out. Inning over. Nothing doing for the White Sox. They're down seven to one. Zach Britton gets the ball now. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. McCutcheon in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Movement for the White Sox in their bullpen. Matt Foster preparing to come on if needed. And now the lefty. And it's even up. I think he was sitting off speed there. <laughs> the pitch. That's towards center. Robert moves under it. He makes the grab, and there's one away. The center fielder, number 10, Brian. So up next, Brian Reynolds. Line drive, base hit. Nice, hand. very nice. Runner on at first with one gone. Next, it's the Pirates' cleanup hitter, O'Neill Cruz. One for three. He's going. Runner on the move. This one chopped up the middle. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Hey. Oh, from the time you're a little leaguer, you're now taught to hustle out of the box you. and give it a full yeah. sprint through the base, regardless so of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. Very nice. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Jack Sawinski. Here's the pitch. It's a double steal. Swing and a miss. Go to third. Save. Double steal. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. And a pitch. Swings and misses. 0 oh, and 2. Baseball runs of the family for Zach Britton. His brother Buck has been a minor league manager in the Orioles system since 2018. In the dirt, blocked to first. Now they get the out. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Garrett Cooper. And first offering is fouled off. Yeah, Buck was named Manager of the Year of the Eastern League for the Bowie Bay Sox back in 2019. And a pitch. And that oh. misses off the outside edge. One and one. And a one to one. On the ground. Oh. And that's just Ooh. foul. At the belt and fires. Got him looking for the strikeout. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Pirates strand a couple. Cool, huh? And they're on top. Seven to one. Bottom of the seventh. There's Benintendi to start it off. 
the left fielder, Andrew. And Andy. here it comes. Just oh, missed. Okay. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. Here's a 1-1. They say you win. Just misses the mark outside the zone. To third, Hayes. Whips it across yep. and one Not away bad. in the bottom of the seventh. Play. Aloy Jimenez now at the plate. The designated hitter. The wind of the pitch. And that one fouled off. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. Nice. And he struck him out. That's out number two. Chris third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Luis Robert now. Who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. First pitch and he just misses. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. Been painting the corners, working on the edges and changing speeds. Just a difficult one, you tip your cap. On to first. Play made, nice. that ends the inning. <laughs> Ready to begin the eighth. And now Connor Joe. Number two. Connor Joe. The pitch. Britain, multi time all star. He features a sinker, a slider, and he works in a four seamer. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right, and that will get out of play. And the pitch. Now a screamer into the outfield. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Up next for the Pirates, Rodolfo Castro. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. Swing and a miss. Strike one. That one fouled hard the other way. The 0-2. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. The pitch. To the right side, scope. Tosses to first. Two up, two down here at the top of the eight. That's what a good sinker's designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Andy Rodriguez getting ready to hit. Seeing you look at Britain, he's got that nasty sinker, and he has made multiple all-star <laughs> teams. He's been one of the better relievers in baseball. Yeah, very difficult to square off. He's just got that bowling ball type of movement on the sinker, and when a hitter makes contact, it feels like it's three pounds the weight of the baseball. On a line, base Very nice. The third baseman, number At 13. the plate for Pittsburgh, G. Brian, Brian Hayes. Hayes. And a ground ball to first. He takes yeah. it on his yeah. own. Third out, and that ends the frame. Back here at the ballpark, the and now the, the right, right fielder, shot. Gavin Sheets. The right fielder, Gavin. The pitch. 
just oh. missed Nicholas into his eighth inning of work Singy he's been good yeah he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game if you're gonna get to him you get to him early they didn't do that today we'll see what happens as this finishes on the ground right side and it goes just foul pitch count in great shape it seems you might have a chance to finish it swing and a miss ah. come out pulled the string on the changeup Andrew Vaughn steps to the plate for the White Sox Andrew. hit hard base hit now he turns and heads for second not stopping he's going for three and he's there at third with a triple just so sound in his mechanics hits against a firm front side and the hands just continue to carry through in the air right field puts the squeeze on it runner tags for home throw home he beats it it's ah. seven to two Two outs, space is empty. And now it's going to be Semi Zavala. Check swing, went around, and it's 0 right. 1. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Riding to the plate. Line drive, base hit, right field. Jonathan Scope steps to the plate for the White Sox. Off the mark there. Ball one. Zavala off the of first with two away. Oh, no. He threw it home. And, of course, everybody's going to be safe. Yikes. And up next for Chicago, Jorge Mateo. Liner, base hit. Zavala coming home. Joe fires it to the plate, and he's in there. A run comes in on the play. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing. So Josh Hader gets the call to the mound. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. You're I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Number 71, Josh. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss at 99 miles an hour. Boom. That's cheddar, yeah. baby. Out towards right center field. Makes the grab on the run. That's grab. And the inning. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Matt Foster. Well, he struggled quite a bit, so this is another opportunity to get on the right track. He's given up more than one hit per inning pitch so far this season. McCutcheon, the next to hit, takes outside. Here's a chopper to short. We'll High bounce, and he barehands it. Nicely done for the out. <laughs> Brian Reynolds, the next pirate to hit. Swings through that Ooh. one. 0 oh and 1. Foster, a six foot righty. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, a changeup. And he occasionally uses a curve. That one ripped, but foul. Owen oh 2 now. One ball. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else.
Stepping in, O'Neill Cruz. Swing and a miss. 0 1. And ball one. Ball to strike. And that one fouled off. One two now. Hit hard. That gets through. Nice. Well, Singy, he is locked now in there. Let well, him. he's really slowed yeah. the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Cruz, the runner at first with two gone. And that one almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Come on, Jack. Runner on the goal. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Back at guaranteed rate field. Bottom of the nine. Now it's the DH. Aloy Jimenez. Pitch misses there. One and oh. Hader in his eighth season. 29 years old. And he was selected to the All-Star game last year. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing. Took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work. Shorten up that swing a little bit. Do whatever it takes to get on base. 99 miles per hour to finish him off. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. So digging in, Luis Robert. That one misses, and that is ball one. A little bit low. Right down to shoot, and it's two and one now. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. And he deals. Good job to fight that one off. Two two now. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. The 2 2. And delivers outside. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Got him. White Sox down to their final out. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout. And this one looking, obviously. So he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Sheets stands in now and watches strike one. And the White Sox down to their final strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit. And a swing and a miss, and ah. that is the ball game. Hey, this is a huge win to take this series on the road before heading back home. You go home feeling good about yourselves. You've got some good momentum. But at home, you also have a higher expectation to play well. So they're going to have to maintain the focus because those fans are expecting a lot. 7 3 is. All right. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Hope y'all have a wonderful evening, and we'll catch you back against Detroit.